basically we're trying to learn about the states of matter so the states of matter are solids liquids and gases so we have to single something that has that that's made of solid liquid and gas a toy that we had to make that had all the states of matter, gas, solid, and liquid. We interviewed each other to know what they like, and now we're trying to we're starting to design. They also included like like the materials you needed, the image and labels, your name, your partner's name. Why do they like that? What the materials? We basically just do it for fun and we also do it because so we get to know each other soon basically we wrote a plan a and the plan b just in case plan a fails i had my partner and she gave me an interview so then i i could have ideas of what i could make and then it just popped up in my head it was like a balloon dog that has a tennis racket that a ball because she likes dogs and she also likes tennis so she can play with her balloon dog at, and play tennis i'm making a thing for my friend Ripta. um he, he doesn't have he doesn't have games on his ipad so so i decided hmm me if he doesn't have games then me why not why not make him one the design lab is cool and it has all sorts of materials that you don't have in the, your classroom. The main material I used was cardboard, hot glue, googly eyes, foam, aluminum foil. Hot glue and um, paper clay. Cardboard, pom pom-poms, a string, uh, markers, and sharpies. They also use like pom-poms and balloons and wood, all sorts of stuff. Um, I'm learning to collaborate more. You need to communicate well to the partner or else you, the partner doesn't know what you're saying or like what you mean. We're making toys for our partners and it's basically for science and for basically fun.